Matias Ferreira was only six years old when his family immigrated to the United States from Uruguay. Yet he still remembers the day he discovered his American dream. I remember seeing this man in uniform and I looked at my dad and I was like, I want to be like that guy when I grow up. It was a dream that stayed with him throughout his adolescence and after graduating high school, he enrolled in the United States Marine Corps. So 9-11 had a big impact on the reasoning for me joining. All I could think about is that man and what he was supposed to be doing for us that day. Only days after he took his oath to become a U.S. citizen, Matias was deployed to Afghanistan. When I was getting off the helicopter in Afghanistan, I think that was kind of important for me to remember that, hey, I'm here for a reason. Just six months later, his first deployment came to an unexpected halt. When I was jumping off of the roof, I landed on a bomb and it went off underneath me. Airlifted out of Afghanistan with a broken pelvis and shattered femur, the resulting injuries were so severe that both of Matias's legs needed to be amputated. I was just thinking, I'm never gonna be able to walk again. I'm never gonna be able to drive a car again. I was about 21, 22 years old. Matias soon found hope and help through a volunteer named Janine Canty. She introduced him to Semper Fi and America's Fund, a nonprofit that provides lifetime support to wounded service members and their families. I don't think there's any limits to Matias. I think he can do anything he sets his mind to. I just went from having 30 guys to now just having my mom from time to time in the room. And that just created almost like an open door for just gaining a new family. With help from the organization and his indomitable spirit, Matias began to rebuild his life, even making headlines for saving a baby from a smoking car that had crashed. His heroic action saving that family and inspiring him to pursue another dream, becoming a police officer. The first time that I took the personal fitness exam, my prosthetics, one of the bolts came out undone, which had never happened before. I went back two weeks later and I'm kind of starting to sprint and I'm getting to the corner and I hear the time again. It's like 11.07, 11.08 and I'm like, I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass. And I get to that finish line. I was like, yes, and I'm trying to keep my excitement in because one of the biggest things I've ever learned from any of my coaches in, in baseball or wrestling or something is act like you've been there before. And on March 24th, 2017, Matias became the first active duty double amputee police officer in the country. One of the biggest things that I've learned in life is that we always allow moments like a 15 minute burden ruin your entire day. And there's a 24 hour day, not a 10 minute day. So that one little thing that happened to you at seven o'clock in the morning shouldn't ruin your entire day. So if you could just look at life like past that 10 minute bad moment in your day, there's so much room for improvement. So we just have to find it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.